to how are you doing this morning i'm coming to you because uh i've been inspired by the holy spirit to speak to you a topic on be beautiful in your own skin be beautiful in your own skin god said that we were fearfully and wonderfully made we are now they are and ask God to give me the right words to say on this video. Um, we were fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, there may be some things in your life that you don't really approve of. Um, you may don't like your eyes. You may don't like your nose. You may don't like your ears. And some of us, uh, I watched on YouTube where people are putting rubber bands on their teeth. Uh, to straighten their teeth. Now, um, I have had some, I want to say that I didn't like the way God made me, but it's certain things that I wanted to fix and change. Um, but I understand that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Even with fixing those things that I want to fix, God want us to know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are crafted by God perfectly your hands is the way that god wanted them to be your your teeth your eyes your ears and he's he, he strategically set and made you the way he wanted you to be now do i approve of plastic surgery no if god gave you uh the hips that he wanted you to have you don't have to go and get surgery to put more skin on your hips. <laughs> if he gave you the back end that he wanted you to have, you do not have to go and get injections um, to make it look even bigger. Because at the end of the day, once you get older, like 80 or 90, those injections that you got, baby, it's going to be an issue. <laughs> it's gonna, because that's not what God created. Okay, that's something you went and got done. Now, God put certain things down here like Dennis. He put where well, you can get your eyes made different. You can get your nose implant. You can get certain things like, you know, uh, you can get so much done now. There's so many surgeons that have come up with so many uh, technologies on getting certain things done. Yes, I do want to get, uh, I'm going to say a few things done. It's just, you know, one thing I want to get done and it will get done. It's not like a surgery or nothing. Like I'm putting extra skin on my body or nothing like that, but I do want to get one thing done. And when it's done, you know, um, I'll give all glory to God. But at the end of the day, God told me, be beautiful in your own skin. Be beautiful in your own skin means don't look at the next person and say, oh, I wish, you know, I wish, you know, you know, I can look like that or I wish this can be like that or, or no, be beautiful the way God made you. God made you beautiful. There's not another Kimberly Favor. There's not another you. So you were fearfully and wonderfully made. And everything on your body is the way God intended for it to be. That's just like people are going out and getting breast implants. They're going out and if God gave you a C cup, be grateful. Be thankful for that C cup. If you get a, a B cup, thank God for your B cup. Don't go and get surgery and then say, I'm going to go and get me a double D uh, just to be accepted by people. No, no, because at the end of the day, when you turn 60 and 70, honey, those balloons that you put in your it, up there is going to really give you some complications. So, yes, the, they're not going to tell you that they just after your money. They're not going to tell you that at all. So, be beautiful in your own skin. Love the way God made you. When I get up in the morning, I look at myself and say, thank you, Lord, for making Kimberly. You made my eyes the way you were. You made my mouth, my teeth. You made everything the way you wanted it to be. But, yes, we do have some things that we want to fix. And as long as you know that God created you beautiful, then, yes, go and fix those things. And then say, Lord, I'm thankful for how you made me, but I do want to kind of correct this one. <laughs> but you know, you just thank him for the creation. Say, I appreciate your creation, God. I appreciate it that you wanted me to have uh, 
gaps in my teeth. I appreciate that, God. But, mm, Lord, I think I'm going to go to an orthodontics, you know. And God will love you even more because you say, Lord, I appreciate your creation. Not like, oh, I don't like the way he made my, my uh, eyes. I don't like the way he made my lips. And I don't like the way he made me big boned, baby. If you're big boned, be beautiful in your own skin. If you want to lose weight from being big boned, say, Lord, help me to lose weight. Help me to lose the extra pounds. Because sometimes uh, pounds can come on you through, uh, it can come on you through stress. Um, it can come on you through eating the wrong food. Uh, a lot of times when we don't intake enough water, uh, what we are intaking in every day, like starches, uh, 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 pasta, uh, just constant rice every day, uh, chicken, fried chicken, all these things that we're taking in our bodies on a constant basis, frying food with oils and frying this and frying that, all of these things, rice here, rice that, rice with chicken, rice with, you know, all these things can be an effect on why those extra pounds have come. Now, even in my case, my weight, it goes, it fluctuates. Like, if I'm feeling a little stressed, you know, I tend to pick up a few pounds. But then I'll look in the mirror and say, uh-uh, what you doing? And then those few pounds got to go. I know how to work it off. I know how to work my pounds off. I am good at that. That's one thing I love about God has given me wisdom. And when I do see me gaining, I know how to work it off quick. It don't take me long. To get off those extra excess weight. Um, that's just a gift God has given me. I thank him for that. That I know how to work it off real quick. Uh, whatever I see that I don't like. Um, so if you see something that you don't like on you. If it's changeable. You change it. If you don't have the money right now to change it. You say Lord. I thank you for being me. I thank you for making me. I thank you for providing the money. To help me enhance me. But at the end of the day, what I want you to know and what God wants you to know is that you were fearfully and wonderfully made. You don't have to go through no type of surgeries. You don't have to go through putting extra meat on your body, taking meat out of your leg and putting it on your hip to have bigger hips, taking meat out of your leg and putting it on your chest. I mean, just whatever. You don't have to do that. Because guess what? That A cup, B cup, C cup is what God wanted you to have. It's the cup, breast cup, that God wanted you to have. That's what he created you to have. Now, sometimes you may grow a little more, um, and you may end up going into a D cup just by just probably eating or gaining weight. Because sometimes you can gain weight and then gain it up in the top as well. So just ask God to help you to maintain the weight that you have. And he will. He'll show you what foods to eat, and he'll show you what foods to come away from. He'll show you what to drink. He'll show you what to intake in your body. Um, and a lot of people always tell me, oh, you have such beautiful skin. People tell me, it's like, what type of soap do you use? I don't use any special soap, but it's what I intake in my body. It's what I am eating. I don't use any special soap on my face, but people always comment. I've noticed that. That's one thing I get compliments on is, oh, you have such beautiful skin. I love your skin. I love your tone. So I get that a lot. And it's because of what I intake in my body. Um, I, I, I leave this video with you is to be beautiful in your own skin. Love what God made. Every bit of you. Yes, if you want to change something, if you don't like the way this look, if you don't like the way that look, then yes, if you have the money in your possessions to change it, you change it. But at the end of the day, know that that's what God wanted on you. That's what God made. We are all different. We are all different in our own skin. And we are all beautiful in our own way. Now, I have heard even some people say, ooh, that girl is ugly. Or, ooh, that man is, ooh, he ugly. I've heard people actually say that. <laughs> That, ooh, God made him ugly. Or, ooh, God, ooh, look. But see, all of that, I feel, we are all beautiful in our own skin. 
And there's there's somebody for everybody. So even that ugly person can get the handsomest man. Uh, trust me. She can marry a king and, and he can be fine as wine, baby. Okay? Because of the favor of God upon her life. Yes, that, that fine man will choose that ugly woman. Sure would. Over the beautiful queen. Yes. Um, so we just have to be careful with our words because the one who you think is ugly just may end up with the the best. You hear me? So be beautiful in your own skin. Love what God has made. And um, I come to you this morning because I'm loving me. I'm loving what God has made. Yes, it's uh, one thing that I want to change about me. But, um, you know, when God provide uh, the resources to get it done, it will get done. And then I'll come on YouTube and say, YouTube, guess what? It's done. And I'll show you what I wanted to change. But until then... I'll continue to bring these videos to you in, in the spirit of Christ. And then when that change happens, I will show it to you on YouTube and let you know what I wanted to change about me. But at the end of the day, know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and you were made beautiful from the foundation of the earth. Remember, God loves you and Kimberly favored you too. And I'm going to leave you with this little song. <laughs> tried to mess up on me but you know what i'm gonna download this video anyway because there are some great tips in here for you even though my cd player just tried to mess up i'm going to count that all joy because the devil is mad at this video and he's upset that i made it <laughs> very upset so he tried to come through my cd player and show his uh anger but um one day I will get a little bit more professional with a great camera and to record and to have certain uh, videos with music on it, you know, enhance my YouTube account. But in the meantime, I will work with what I have now. And I thank you for listening, even though the enemy just tried to mess up my little worship there. We're going to give God the glory anyhow, right? God bless you, YouTube. And remember, God has something in store for you if you keep your trust in him. Bye-bye.